All right, y'all, we got some work to do in this video. Welcome to and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas. I am the owner of Epitome of Excellence Designs and Decor. I refer to it as EOE Designs. I, of course, have a haul, as y'all can see by the thumbnail of this video. I just wanted to share with y'all a couple of things that I have, not necessarily pertaining to one event. I got quite a few things, so if I get long winded, just go ahead and pause it right here. Go get you a glass of ice water or whatever you want to drink and then come back and finish the rest of this video. So it's three different events I think that I'm incorporating into this haul because I don't think the events that I have, I, the stuff that I have for those other events is not even worthy. Um, it's not video worthy, I think. But I'm gonna go through what I have anyway. Some of the stuff I already know what I have and some of the stuff I have to go through. Y'all excuse my attire. I tried to put something on it, look presentable. It is late at night and I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out. So um, without further ado, I will start with uh, whatever I see first, cause it's random, right? So this came from Amazon today. A lot of y'all, a lot of this stuff that y'all are gonna see is not uh, linkable. I don't have a link for it because some of this stuff I did get from thrift stores. So we're gonna try to figure this thing out together. So, let's see. So right here, I have um, a Tigger themed baby shower coming up. Not Winnie the Pooh, not Eeyore, not Piglet, not Mr. Rabbit, but just straight Tigger theme. And the only thing that I really had to lean on for this event was the Tigger movie. I have never seen that movie, but I just watched beats and pieces of the movie and clips and stuff to just kind of pull out what I um, needed to incorporate for this event. So for my baby showers, which is my favorite type of event to do, um, I love to try to pull out small pieces or small points or, or themes in the, in, in the video. But anyway, nevertheless, this is, or these are just some um, wood grain signs that would normally point to over stand on a sign that I would normally use to point to different locations. I am using the green grass backdrop for this event. So I think I'm gonna use that on that backdrop so I don't have to figure out putting these on a sign. So the only thing I probably do is use my hot glue gun, dab some glue on it and stick it to it. Okay. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna use this time to get organized. Okay, I bought some more 260 balloons. This is what I use to put my garlands together. Nothing to really talk about there. And look y'all, this is gonna be a part of a sponsorship in the video. This is, a, 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 this is not a good backdrop to show you because I think I'm gonna end up having to turn one of them around. Um, but this will go on my uh, arch backdrop covers. It is Tigger. Only thing I did was pull him offline, slap him on an orange ombre, <laughs> like an orange ombre uh, background on camera, and I sent it to my secret. And they uh, printed it for me. So I may be able to use all three of my arch backdrop stands for this event. So that's one of them. And then the other one says, oh baby, but I got them to do it double-sided. So this side is gonna be tan. And you can see the oh baby through the other side, but once it's on the stand, you won't be able to see that. But, so y'all stay tuned for that video because I am gonna have the affiliate link for it. And I am going to make sure I do a good review on it or an honest review, okay? Because y'all know they've sent me quite a few things to um, do reviews on and I stand by them, I love them. They were the ones who initially were doing my backdrops when I first started out. So I just took some different ombres like reds, orange, burnt orange, and tans and put it on there. They look kind of funny on here to me, but once they hit those backdrop stains, I think they'll tell a story. So I am using that versus the backdrop on the um, pipe and drape stand. I'm gonna try to stay within theme here. Okay, so these are two Tiggers 
that I picked up while I was on vacation. I didn't tell y'all I went on vacation. But I went to Tennessee for a week. And while we were in Tennessee, we were in Gatlinburg and I know they had Tango outlets there. So me and my wife already was plotting on stopping to get these. I very well could have ordered them online, but if I can get them in a store so I can just kind of look at them, I will. I think they were for, for a decent price. If I can remember correctly, I think I paid 25 a piece for these. So these are gonna serve as props or um, centerpieces for the tables. I regret not getting one more. I really should have gotten three. I need to listen to my girl, Trevina. She said, buy your stuff in three. Look at the head just going. <laughs> y'all y'all agree? I should have bought my these in threes, but I do have some more. Now, the other ones that I have in my storage are like a um, more muted. Uh, they, they're like muted tickers. They don't have this bright orange on them, but I did order some more from Amazon that should have came today. So hopefully I will unbox them in just a minute so y'all can see what I got. Okay, moving right along, y'all. So this is gonna be the sign, the welcome sign that I have. It just says, welcome little one. And then I just literally just picked this up at Walgreens. Cause I be dragging my feet. You see the date on this is 3-30-24, which is this coming weekend. Well, for y'all, it'll be yesterday cause y'all will see this Sunday. But I just made this on Canva. I'm gonna pull it out of here just so y'all can get a good look at it. I love the way it turned out, and the reason I'm incorporating this, uh, it's not honey green, like an olive green for the backdrop, the background is because my client, they like sneakers, they sneaker here. So I think the mama, the daddy, and their one or two young sons that they have now already have. teach you a few things but we learn this thing together so I had a brain fog I'm gonna say that on my centerpieces so for some of the centerpieces on the tables I'm using the round boxwood hedge balls on the centerpiece and like I said with my tickers and my pictures and stuff and then for the table in the middle which is going to be the, I guess, the focal point or focal table. I want to use this grass. It needs a little bit of shaping because it's kind of tangled up right here. The grass is kind of bent right here, but I want to use this in the middle because if you are familiar with even Winnie the Pooh, you know that they're outside, they're around trees, they're in a forest. So I want to incorporate this in some way or another. And I got this because that color is muted and I am using a table 
a tan tablecloth in one or on one of the tables. So we're gonna see how that plays out. I might change it up once I get there, but I have set up at this location before, so I'm familiar with what I'm getting myself into. Okay. So moving right along. Oh, I got that from Marshalls and I paid $16.99 for it. Okay. I also found these wooden um, these wooden mushrooms that I'm about to break. I got these wooden mushrooms. I have a big one too. This one was $7.99. This one was $7.99. This one was of course $7.99 because that matches this one. And I went ahead and got all of them because what is that noise I'm hearing? It can't be my computer because I got my computer muted. It's like a, I thought it was this, like a rain noise or something. Um, but I went ahead and cleaned the shelves of what they had with these. And I'm just going to incorporate these as well because when I think of Tigger, I think of being outside. I think of being in the woods. I think of what I would see in the woods. And I want to keep, because I'm using browns and tans, like I said, I want to stay within those lines of these um, tones and colors. Now, I need to get the stickers off of these because just to show if somebody picked these up off the table, they're going to see the prices on them. So I may need to just take some time tomorrow. Oh, it's coming off. I was going to say put a hair dryer to them, but I don't think I will. And then this one doesn't have a sticker on it, but the price on this one was $16.99. So I bought a little family of mushrooms that I'm going to use somewhere in there. Unboxing, yay! <laughs> Y'all see my flowers behind me? I, um, did I tell y'all I brought all my flowers home? Did I tell y'all? Well, I brought all of my flowers home out of my storage. Say this receipt for tax purposes. I brought all of my flowers home. What is that note? Oh, it's probably my son's phone. It's some. It can't be my computer. Um, I brought all of my flowers home because it tells me what I got. And to me, I don't have that much. It's three, six, nine, 12 toasts of flowers. No, it's actually 15 toasts of flowers. I need to stop that. I really need to stop downplaying stuff. Because I'm good for that. I'll be like, I ain't got this, I ain't got that. And then I'm, I just said I got 15 toasts of flowers. Four years ago, I would have been like jumping hurdle, hurdles and be being thankful that I got that many flowers. Anyway, this box that I'm about to open is from CB Linen. Y'all know that's my go-to. Waited till the last minute to order from them and had to pay shipping. Normally, you don't have to pay shipping if you pay over a certain amount of dollars. So, I am using my Shavari chairs for this event. <clears throat> I am using my Shavari chairs for this event, and I'm gonna use these on those chairs. Ain't that pretty, y'all? That is so pretty. It look like a turban, like you put on your head. <laughs> yeah, you put the turban on your head. Let me stop playing with these folks stuff. Anyway, these are gonna go on the chairs. Um, and I've seen people put these on chargers too, but... Mm. But these are gonna go on those Shavari chairs just to give it some dimension. I done got lazy, I done got spore. I do not want to cover chairs, and I know the chairs at this place are not chairs that I would ideally want to cover. I can get chair covers on them, but they don't sit, they don't go on good. So I bought 32 of those because I'm setting up for 32. And it's a ruffle stretch olive garden, olive garden, and I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord it's late it's a ruffle stretch olive green chair sash so I'm just trying to make sure I keep everything with everything okay that's it too okay Ooh, I did a good job pretty much matching these colors up. 
Got this from Tennessee. Ordered this from CV Lady. Let me break. Let me break it open. Y'all know it's velvet. I'm, I'm coming down on velvet. I promise y'all. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna velvet y'all to deal. We're gonna go back to some. We gonna, somebody was telling me about Jersey fabric and. Um, I'm gonna try some other stuff. I just fell in love with you. Know? That's perfect. That's literally perfect. So some of my tables are gonna have this orange, velvety looking tablecloth on it. Uh oh. So I got three of those. And for those of you who inquire, I normally try to buy my tablecloths at a 90 by 16, I mean a 90 by 156, because for some of my events, I'm noticing that the tables have not been five, have not been six foot, eight foot tables. Like the last event that I did, the Here Comes the Sun event, those were like cafeteria tables or whatever, or I don't know, office tables, and I had to put them together. And luckily I bought my tablecloths big. Excuse me, now these tablecloths are 90 by 132. So you can get away with a 90 by 132. What will happen is if you put it on an eight foot table, I think it'll give you lap length, I think. I'm gonna try to put a diagram on the screen right here. Somebody sent me this maybe four or five years ago because I was bad with ordering linen and the linen would only just go over the edge of the table. So if you wanted to be lap length, it tells you how big to get your tablecloths. If you wanted to touch the floor, it tells you how big to get it according to the table sizes. So that's something to consider. I think it's screenshot that. I think it's a good tool for those of you who question what, what size linen I get. For me, bigger is always better. If you get them big, they can puddle in the floor. If you get them um, big and the table is just right, they'll hang just right. If you get them too short, then you're gonna find yourself having to order more linen to cover up that, or it's, your event is not gonna look polished. Because I find that that is something that helps the event look, look polished, is your linen covering the floor, or at least being lap linen. Okay? This is more brown than I would have hoped for it to be. Um, this is a rectangle tablecloth, and these I ordered 90 by 56. And these are gonna go under, it's called chocolate braille. That's probably why it's that dark, but it's, it's okay. Cause it's going under my payette tablecloths. I always recommend when you're using the payette that you put a piece of linen under those payette tablecloths because if not, it's gonna look transparent and when it hangs, you're gonna see it from the sides. These are just some drapes that I got. The uh, olive green drapes. And I normally try to get the height to be at least 10 feet, but in these, they didn't have the 10 feet, so I had to go up two feet. So I got 12 feet, 12 feet in length, and it says 52 inches in width. So I normally get two panels of those. I try not to order so many drapes because y'all already know I have a lot of drapes already. Okay, I'm gonna see what's in this box. And then I think we can go to the other stuff, okay? These balloons look a little weird in here, but I know when I inflate them, they'll look just fine. I tried to get the colors that I had were just pulled out. You see the olive greens, you see the oranges, you see the chocolate browns. So I think it's gonna go perfect. <clears throat> and to give it a little bit of rousey dousel booyah. I got some tiger stripe balloons, so I'm gonna incorporate that on the balloon garden, garland as well. I think it's four in here. It's six in here. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need all six, but we'll see. Okay, and because I'm using the wood grain chargers, I wanted to get some plates that will complement the chargers, and you can see through them. So I have. 30 of these, I need to make a middle note or reminder that I need to get two more from my store because I do have extra there. And that way I can have 32. Remember we talked on live, I don't do extra plates and stuff like to sit to the side unless I don't feel like bringing it up with me because clients pay me by the head count and I will not make money if I keep giving out extra stuff. Amen to myself, cause I'm bad for that. Okay, for those of you who are new, for those of you who are new, I'm not gonna assume you've seen this. 
But these are the wood grain utensils that I used for my sunflower themed event. And this was maybe almost a year ago. Can you see the wood grain in it? See how they look? And you know what's, I can't say what's getting on my nerve. You know what's getting on my nerve? I offer my clients the utensils and plates, but they have not been using them, the glasses either. And when I was not offering that, they would be like, oh, you don't offer that? And then I felt like when I came in the next year, I said, well, I'm gonna offer it in my package and just beef up the price. They don't use it. So at the last event, I don't think they used the plates, the utensils, or the glasses. So I ended up having a bunch of these, um, this style utensils, they want as rail on the spoon that were left over. It was the white with the, it had a white handle with the gold uh, utensils. And I like them because I put thought into this. And you ain't using them, and that's a waste of money. This little bitty box has 40 of each, and it would normally run you $50, $44 plus tax. I think I caught it on sale for like $29. That's a lot of money for utensils. If I was somebody who cut corners on stuff, I would probably get it from Dollar Tree or somewhere. Okay, so I always do these anyway. Like I said, she's not doing the baby's name. So it's just gonna have four blocks that say baby. I don't follow her for not doing the baby name because people just start stealing people. They just start stealing these babies' names. Y'all see, okay, I'm gonna tell you why I'm looking like this. Because remember I told y'all, I went to the Disney store. They got them other tippers. Remember, remember I, I said it right. I went to the Disney store and I think I paid, wait a minute. Are y'all cousins? Wow. Look at this, y'all. How much did I pay for this? And I told me, I wish I had got three. I ordered more, but I didn't think the size was gonna be right. But they cousins, they first cousins on their mama's side. They look just alike, don't they? His ear flying away. They are exactly the same size. And this one's got a Disney tag on it. And this one, I can't wait to tell my wife when I finish recording. Tails curled up and everything. Okay. I'm not gonna sweat it. Wow. So that means that the Disney store I paid 25 and I paid 20, I paid a little bit over 20. I think it was three dollars, but I didn't pay that. I don't I don't remember paying that. Oh, I forgot who it was that left me a little tip in one of my comments, but she was telling me to get some binder clips. No, she didn't say that. She was telling me for the backdrop that I struggled with on the last event that I could have pinned it up from the back in so many words. So I bought some binder clips, y'all. So what I can do is, if I run into that issue where my fabric is too loose on something and it needs to be stretchy or pull tight, I'm gonna pull that fabric inside or pull it together and bundle it up and put a binder clip on it. So that's a little tip for those of y'all who don't know, instead of using safety pins, I love a safety pin. I got the heart of a granddaddy. I found a safety pin right now. So I bought that, and I think that is it for the ticket event. I'm gonna show y'all these last, these last few things, and then we out of here, okay? I'm at 25 minutes already, close to it, okay? So this stuff I got while thrifting, and I'll try to share the price if I can remember it, if I see the sticker on it, which I don't, but I've got a small Mickey Mouse setup that I'm doing, it's just a dessert table with a backdrop and draping, and it's at like a fun park or like at a sky zone somewhere that I'm setting up for. And I'll try to take y'all along with me. It's just awkward recording a room full of people like that, depending on where I'm at. But I'm gonna um, wash these in the washing machine. He looks like he's new. He's got a new sticker on him, but we're gonna see. Wait a minute. I'm lying. This came from the Disney store, I think. And it did. This came from the Disney store. I think I paid 
$10 a piece. I got two of these, okay? That's Mickey Mouse. Now, I'm getting to the thrift and stuff, okay? So, I had two of these Instacrates that I bought from Walmart like three years ago, and I think I paid uh, <clears throat> maybe $25 for each, but this was at the thrift store. Guess how much I paid, y'all? Brand new, you see it's brand new, right? $5. I love it because I can load my stuff up and when I'm done, I can put it down. I was being rough with my crates and I broke them. So I'm glad the Lord saw fit to give me another chance. Okay? All right, y'all. I got a few more items, y'all. If you're still here, like this video. Okay? So this is... It's got a new sticker on it, but I'm gonna determine whether or not I need to wash it. I got this from the thrift store, not too far from me, and it's just a teddy bear with the Virginia shirt on it. The event that I'm doing and that I'm gonna incorporate him in with is called, or the theme is the place, oh, the places you'll go. So I thought this was very cute and neat because he's got a Virginia shirt on. That's a state, go to Virginia, come from Virginia, stop by Virginia, and I'm gonna incorporate him in some way or another. I'm also going to try to make a hot air balloon um, basket. Hopefully it works out for me. So I ended up getting these two baskets. The video does not do it justice. They are not the same size. This is a smaller one. I paid $8 for the small one and I paid $10 for the big one. And I don't think they're brand new. They're not brand new but they look brand new. So, we'll see. Okay. Oh, the ticker book. I thought I got something for ticker. So we were just fun. We were just flipping through books, y'all. And I ended up finding this book. I wanted to make sure it had a ticker story in it. And I think it does have a ticker story in it. If it doesn't have a ticker story in it, it's got Winnie the Pooh in it. And I think Tigger is in this. It's two stories, I believe. I hope I didn't pick up the wrong book. Because what I'm going to do is... Oh, there you go. I'm going to prop it up on the table somewhere at the baby shower. It looked like a brand new book, and it's called Family Store Collection. So I just want to incorporate that. Ain't that cute? Just different ways to decorate and add props to your tables. So make sure I remember he's on page 99. Okay. Moving right along. I'm trying to speed up. I don't like posting long videos. <laughs> okay, so this is what I use to transport my balloons. This is just a simple mattress bag. I got them from the thrift store. Normally I would pay eight, nine dollars for these, eight or nine dollars for these at like Walmart somewhere. And oh, well the prices on here says nine dollars. They sold them to me for four dollars. So I got two of those, okay? I'm gonna put them right here with my store stuff. Okay, so right here is another teddy bear. He's got a brand new tag on him. I think I still want to wash him though because I think this sweater looks a little questionable. This is not a um, a location sweater. However, um, I might can get my wife to use a Cricut to put something location on it, location wise. Only paid three dollars for him. I got enough teddy bears, so I pumped my brakes on what I was buying as far as teddy bears are concerned. Okay. Still talking about all the places you go because I want to show you everything else that I have left. I didn't buy much because I'm going to go back and do some more scavenging and stuff, but I bought this little clock. Y'all will get the idea when I put everything together, this needs some cleaning. I paid $8 for it. I don't even know if the clock worked. It don't even matter because this is just going to be a prop, maybe on a table, maybe a front. I don't know, but I wish for those of you who are visionaries, It'll make sense to y'all. Okay. Ooh, I do want to show y'all this little idea I had. Hold on. Okay. So I bought this little bench for $3 from the thrift store. What I thought about was a person sitting at a bus stop. So I slapped him on the bench. Okay. And then I saw this for $2. I think it's a little pocketbook, but it can definitely... <clears throat> be interpreted 
as a suitcase. So this is not exactly how I want to do it, but you see how I got, I don't know how I'm going to do it y'all, but that is the idea that I had when I saw this. So different little ways that you can incorporate stuff like that. Okay. Something else that I found was this, like a little trunk because I'm gonna incorporate trunks and suitcases. And if you look closely, it's not dirty, it's not, it's not what you think it is. It's got the map on it. Y'all see the map is on it? So it gives me vintage and it just, I just love it. Like I love how my, how I love, I, I'm really gonna love this, doing this event. So I think I paid $10 for this. It's gonna be a prop. I'm going to use this bag right here that I paid $3 for because it looks vintage. I'm, I was looking for stuff that like was old looking, had buckles and stuff. And I'm going to stuff this. I want it to look worn like this, okay? And I'm going to use this as a, um, a piece of luggage. And the last thing that is like a bit much for me to be lifted up. Trunk. Okay, so I did find a trunk. This is gonna be used at the front somewhere. Old trunk. Um, I don't plan on having it open because then that means I have to fill it with stuff. But it locks. It's blue. I'm using blues. I'm using tans. I'm using whites. So. I think that's gonna be a nice touch. And I am gonna go back to that thrift store and look around because it was some more stuff that I was like, I'm not gonna get it yet. For one, I didn't drive my van like some crazy. I should have drove my van so I can load it up. Now these are the Mickey Mouses that need some tender loving care. So I'm gonna throw these in the washing machine as soon as I get off here. Cause these definitely have been through the storm and the rain. And I think I paid $2 a piece. So, and I, oh, okay, those were, the, those were the Mickeys that was up there, okay. And I think that's it, y'all. So if you like this haul, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe, share this video. I hope y'all are just as excited as I am for these up and coming events. Um, make sure you continue to um, subscribe and follow. And I just appreciate it. There's nothing more for me to say. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I will definitely see y'all in the next video.